Hey guys, what's going on? We're back again. We're going to continue with round one. We've got the Lagunitas IPA uh, versus the Kona Hanale Island IPA. So uh, the Lagunitas is the five seed here. Uh, the Kona beer is the 12 seed. So I want to start out saying this one should be a little easier than the last one, mainly because this is a session IPA and it's also brewed with pineapple, orange, and guava. Um, so it might be a little thinner it might be more fruity so this one is a uh, 6.2 or yeah 6.2 percent I don't this has got the julian coating on it and I don't know how to read that honestly I haven't ever looked into it so I don't know what the dating on this one is this one's packaged on October 21st so hopefully they're around the same age um, if you look at your screen right now, you'll see the um, playoff bracket laid out. So you'll see that uh, Yaz, or let's see, Sweetwater went ahead to go on to the round two to go against uh, Legion Space Dust. Um, so the winner of this round will actually go against New Belgium for the against the Imperial Voodoo Ranger. So let's get into these. Let's see uh, what they've got in store for us. My wife just did these the pours for me, so I don't know which one is which. Um, so yeah, we'll try to figure out which one's which, and then we'll pick which one is better, um, and go from there. So let's jump into this one first. It just smells like a classic, a uh, little bit malt forward with a little bit of uh, American hop, you know, resin type grapefruit character all in there. A little bit of a caramel sweetness there. Okay, yeah, I already know which one's which, but let's go ahead and look at the appearance. They're pretty similar again. They actually look, I mean, completely similar. Uh, they look identical. Um, I know which one is which already. This one immediately, you immediately get those tropical fruits. I mean, that is just the first thing you notice. It's It's got a light, uh, bready sweetness there. You get the passion fruit, guava, did it, what else did it say? An orange, yeah, you definitely get the orange up front. Citrus fruit there. It just smells lighter. So, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Yep, grapefruit, pine, um, maybe some other citrus notes in there with a you know a little bit of a sweet caramel backbone on there um, bready sweetness caramel tastes like a typical uh, American IPA it's got a resiny like dank thing to it bitterness on the back end is a little bit bigger than some of the, than the last two beers. All right, let's give this one a taste. That fruit character is really nice. It's very tropical. Yeah. Yeah, noticeably lighter. Definitely a lot more fruity. The fruit characteristics are, are very nice. Just they, they're since the beer is so thin, the, the hop and fruit character stand out a little bit better. I like it. It's a really easy drinker. Well, I don't think there's any suspense here. Um, let's go ahead and see which one's which here but I'm almost if I'm wrong here then we got some issues that I need to figure out well let's go ahead and see if we can do this without spilling it everywhere all right so on the bottle she wrote well she didn't did it come off or did she not write on here she didn't even write on here so <laughs> Okay, just to butt in real quick into the video, she actually did write the um, 
numbers on here. So at the end of L, she put a one. And the Kona one up here in the top, Let's see if we can get some light on it. You can see the two right there. It's just very small. Don't doubt your wife's boys. They always know what's right. And we are very poor at uh, looking at things the first time or finding things in general. So back to the video. Uh, this is number two for what that's worth. Um, and then this was obviously number one. So no need to take it off there. Um, yeah, she didn't write it on the bottles here. So not really a way to verify it, but it's, trust me, it's right. This is the definitely the lighter and fruitier beer. This is good though. It's just a nice light crusher. I mean, you could drink these all day long. So, guys, uh, as far as the winner here, I'm. I mean, I know they could have been. I tried to do it to where the beers were going to be similar. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. So, just as far as a taste standpoint alone, I'm not basing it off like style or anything like that. This one's going to win. This one's going to move forward. This one just tastes better. It's something I would rather drink. I know this is like a classic beer and everybody loves it. I do. I like it too. But for the sake of just right now, what I would rather drink is this. Lighter ABV, fruitier. It just, you know, it pops a little bit more. So um, take a look at the screen here. You'll see that the um, Kona Han Hanale, Hanale Island IPA is going to move on um, to go up against uh, New Belgium's Imperial Voodoo Ranger. So stay tuned, uh, you know, for the next, you know, that'll be in the next round. So stay tuned. Up next, we'll do the Terrapin Up High IPA versus the New Belgium Voodoo Ranger, regular Voodoo Ranger, which I've heard is a really good shelf beer. So um, stay tuned for that one, guys. Um, like, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll get back into this in the next video. So thanks, guys. Cheers.